YouTube, what is up? Good to see you again. Uh, <laughs> I never know how to start my videos. But anyway guys, uh, today I have something special to share with you because yesterday I got to meet up with the Kinetic Kenons. Oh hey. What's up man? Oh, hey dude. How are you? Good, how are you Ready there? to go down? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know who they are, they do videos every single day uh, around Mexico City. And yeah, they're just they're just a cool couple to hang out with and making a video with them was really fun. <laughs> the video we made was actually a spicy chili challenge. Start with the jalapeno and then when Is this a like, good bite for habanero? That's plenty. <laughs> My fingers burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Greg from the Kinetic Kenons, he said that, oh yeah, we should do a spicy pepper challenge, you know, gringo versus gringo. Uh, and he doesn't, he told me he doesn't really like spicy food, so I thought, like, bring it on. I used to live in Vietnam, they love their spicy peppers. I can deal with some peppers. It's a... No, 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 I was feeling confident. <laughs> and then a couple days later, we decided, oh, why don't we make it a trivia challenge? So instead of just eating peppers, we're also answering Mexican trivia questions. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> sure. The category was numbers, and you wrote a letter V. Because here's the thing, it's not that I don't care about Mexican culture, I do, and I want to learn as much as I can. But I've only been here for one month. Greg and Hillary, they've been here for like nine months, ten months. Anyway, I was at a bit of a disadvantage. I did my best, guys. If you want to see that video, I'm going to link it in the description and all that stuff. <laughs> don't hate me based on some of my answers, because some of them are pretty bad. But, 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 today, I'm going to be showing you how I prepared for that chili challenge. The Pepto Bismol, that was real. I actually had a stomach ache. <laughs> and I decided to do a spicy chili challenge when I had a stomach ache. Tina's a chili de arbol. Get three. Those are no joke. No. <laughs> uh, and then we'll get uh, bell pepper, jalapeno, arbol, habanero. Nice. Pretty good. Yeah, but overall, the challenge went well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job answering the questions. While driving in Mexico, you will encounter roughly one million speed bumps. What are these delightful impediments called in Spanish? <laughs> I think my knowledge of Mexican history really shone. Greg? I put... Aztec. Dan? Aztecs. Oh, y'all are good. Nobody. Come on, Aztecs. How are we doing? You know, I had some tough moments. Uh oh. Dan's starting to feel the heat. No. He, oh, I can, I, I can breathe fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I think when it mattered most, I really stepped up. Hey, uh, Nari and Hillary, how do you think we did? I'm a bit embarrassed by your knowledge. <laughs> I'm kind of worried about your okay. tenor. Yeah. Come on. Okay. I think that's one thing, like, uh, that people appreciate is just uh, caring about the culture and at least like trying to yeah. answer a question. Let's hope think, so. <laughs> you know, so we'll see. Hopefully, if so everybody don't be mad at Dan for his wrong <laughs> answers. And after the video, one cool thing, you know, I wanted to sit down with the with the KK Kinetic Kenons and just kind of ask them about their experience in Mexico. There's one question in particular that I love to ask people, and that's what I ask them. We just got done with our spicy pepper challenge. We did not. <laughs> you and I did. <laughs> I <Yeah>. feel good. <laughs> 
What has been something that has surprised you the most about living in Mexico? Something you just didn't expect at all? Oh man, that's tough. I think for me it's definitely been the people. I think uh, growing up in Texas, we were obviously around Mexicans uh, a lot, probably more so than some states further north. But I think I had no expectations as to uh, the people, would they be welcoming, would they speak English, would they invite us, would they resent us? Um, sort of what what do people what do people in Mexico um, think of people from the states mm -hmm. and I think especially over, given the current political climate right like overwhelmingly I think that the people of Mexico have been so very kind so welcoming and I'm not sure that we expected anything different I think I just had no expectations I hadn't even really thought about how the people of Mexico could like impact our lives living here but mm -hmm. um, I think it's something that we're truly fortunate that. We've yeah, welcomed. definitely the people. One of the more surprising things, I think, when you think of Mexico, you think of like the desert, you think of, or the beach, and you don't really think of uh, a big, like nice city like mm -hmm. Mexico City or Guadalajara or San Miguel de Allende. You don't really think of like European feel. So I think just like the overall diversity mm -hmm. uh, that, is, that is here within Mexico is extremely surprising. We've yet to explore a lot of it, but I think that's one thing we're excited to do. And we've also been surprised by just the amount of like, like we hiked a mountain an hour and a half away from Mexico City. I think you guys have been doing a great job sharing. Oh, I thank mean, you. These guys have been uploading pretty much every day for how long now? Like nine months. <laughs> these guys have been killing it for nine months. So definitely check out thank their you channel. So much, man. Any final <laughs> words for Mexican viewers? Um, oh man, Viva Mexico! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if you're gonna say that. <laughs> so whether you're Mexican, whether you're American, wherever you are from, welcome to my channel and uh see you next time. Alright. <laughs> That one had some kick. <laughs> Feel it in your nose. Your face. Too, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> what two countries border Mexico to the south?